Welcome to clickmyproject.com Yeah, let us discuss about the PAPR peak to average power ratio reduction using clipping and filtering technique for non-linear communication systems. Yeah, let us discuss about the abstract of the product. So, orthogonal frequency division multiplexing is a method of encoding digital data on multi-carrier frequencies. So, OMDM has developed into uh, a popular scheme for wideband digital communications used in applications such as uh, digital television and audio broadcasting, DSL, internet access, wireless networks, power line networks and 4G mobile communication. So, the primary advantage of OFDM over single carrier scheme it is, able, uh, is ability to uh, scope with the serve channel so conditions without complex equalization filters so the channel equalization is simplified because of OFDM can be slowly modeled the narrow band signal rather than one rapidly modulated wide band signal so in this proposed work to reduce the PAPR so that is a peak average to peak reduction by using the clipping and filtering method so our basic concept is clipping and filtering method so the orthogonal frequency division multiplexing is widely used uh, and, and also it is used uh, orthogonal sub carriers and also available for bandwidth efficiently however as the number of subcarriers in OFDM increases the average I mean the peak to average power ratio it also increases so this high PAPR causes a significant distortion when passed through nonlinear amplifier so to reduce the PAPR the simplest method is to use the clipping method However, using the clipping processing causes both in in-band distortion and, uh, and also the out-of-band distortion. So, but uh, but this can be reduced by using the filtering after applying the clipping. So, mainly focus in on clipping and filtering technique to reduce the PAPR. So, that is a peak to average power ratio of OFDM system with slightly increased in the PER. Yeah, let us discuss about the flow diagram of the process. So, first of all, generate the input data, and then uh, it should be con uh, conventional encoder is used to encoding the input data, and then serial to parallel conversion. So, converting the encoding process to converting the parallel conversion, and then modulation QAM. So, here we are using a QAM modulation, that is a quadrature amplitude modulation of the process, and then pilot carrier. So here we are using the pilot carrier in session to enable the voice uh, that should be processed of the IF50 data and then inverse fast Fourier transform and again uh, that is going to the clipping and filtering technique to reduce the PAPR. Here we are using the clipping and filtering technique to reduce the peak to average power ratio. So and then these are the transmission model and then AWGN relay fading channel. So that is additive white Gaussian noise. So to reduce the relay fading channel by using the channel of the process and then receiver model. So in this receiver model the inverse of the transmission model. So here we are using the FFT, pilot carrier remover, demodulation, parallel to serial conversion and also recording. So these are the receiver model of the process. So the AWGN relay fading channel calculating the value of particular value of the clipping and filtering of the process. So finally we calculating the PSD that is the power spectral density and BER of the process. So in the clipping and filtering it's, uh, it has some block of the definition so to reduce the PAPR of the value. So that is calculated by using the yeah, this is the flow diagram of clipping and filtering with over sampling factors. So L and N point of IF of T. So here we uh, L is denoted by the over sampling factor and N is denoted by the number of subcarriers. So that is a L dot N point IF of T process and then FC digital up conversion. So FC is a carrier frequency and then clipping. So clipping is the process of to clipping the I mean uh, the values it should be clipping and then L dot N point of F of T process. So in the L nodes over sampling factor and L denote the number of subcarriers is actually and then BPF. So BPF is a band pass filter. By using the band pass filter uh, here we are reducing the noise of the process and then L dot N point IF of T process. Finally LPF you see. So here we are using the LPF that is a low pass filter of the process. So overall the clipping and filtering is the main concept of this process to be reducing the noise or reducing the peak so indecible interference like that to by using the clipping and filtering concept is best to reduce the value of the process so and then these are the overall flow diagram of the process yeah let us discuss about the running procedure for the process so click the main file and then run so it will be displayed first of all enter the data value so whatever it may be it will be using it. I think uh, here using the QAM modulation so QAM modulation is a I will link the 64 data bit so enter the value I will eat and I enter the block size what type of block will be displayed so I will click eat so here we are using uh, whatever it may be I will click the eat so the process will be displayed uh, among the value of data value equals 64 and I enter the data block size is equal to 8 so in the clipping and process clipping and filtering process it should be clip the signal and also filter the signal so first of all 
yeah this is the transmitted input data so in the transmitted input data he is using randomly generated so the data points and the transmission data points of a representation so this is the transmitted input data of the process and then the next figure is a modulated data so here we are using the modulated data qam modulation is applied so it should be transmitted the modulated data by using the data points and also a transmitted modulated transmit data it will be displayed <coughs> In the next figure, this is a reshaping modulated data, so it should be reshaped. Like that's it. This is not the main concept. It should be replaced. That's that's it. And then OFDM signal. So here we using them. So this is the normal OFDM signal minus one to plus one by clip uh, by using the clipping. Here we using the signal is to clip up to zero point four. So this is a different type of OFDM signal and also the clipping signal. Yeah. And then next uh, enter the L factor. So that is a one to one point four in between the values. So I will click one point. And then enter the number of transmitted signal power of two. Uh, that is preferable to greater than thirty two. So the value it should be greater than thirty two. So here I will using um forty two like that. And then enter the alphabet size. So power of two and less than number of signal. So here using the less than transmitted of the signal less than the number of signal. I will click a sixteen like that. So the process will be displayed. Yeah. So finally, the calculating value is. So, <coughs> so here we using a, this is the normal OFDM signal. So in the process of uh, like uh, histogram shifting and then clipped OFDM signal, the clipped OFDM signal sir, the process will be like that, and then clipped and filter OFDM signal. So the process is like that. So the signal is very efficient compared to this all the process of the process. So in the next figure is. HPA. So HPA means high power amplifier. So the OFDM signal after the HPA, before the HPA, after the HPA, it should be a lot of differences. So in the peak, so the peak will value is not in the pointing value of the peak. So that is a difference between the normal OFDM signal and the after the HPA of the process. And then in the next figure, so clip signal after the HPA. So that is the OFDM signal after the HPA. This the clip signal after the HPA. The value should be clipping of the process. And then finally, the value receive the input data. So finally, transmit the input data and then receive the input data of the process. So and then PIPR that is a peak average to peak ratio of original OFDM is 3.63, and then PIPR of clipped OFDM is 2.886. So this is the difference between the original and clipped OFDM of the signal. So whatever it may be, the value is uh, like 3.6 minus. 2.88, it should be calculating 0.7. So 0.72 value, it should be clipped by the using the clipping and filtering process. So these are the overall running procedure for the product. Thank you for listening this video.